Hey, welcome back. In the last lesson, we showed you how we can enter in a sequence and we can have the element moving. And also you might've noticed that it stays with the last command. So we need to take care of that. And we're gonna add in an else here. And if it's else, so that means that there are no more commands and that we've finished running the commands. So this is where we can update that inner HTML and set back that back to path and also have a return there. So we don't execute anything else on this mover function. So let's try that. And now when we execute it, we end up with set path. So that's, uh, we have the ability to do that. And we can also add in the ability to get a random movement. So that will make an application a little bit more interesting. So let's set up an array and we need an array with movement array. And then here is where we've got all the different directions that we want to move. So we've got right, we've got left, up, and of course down. So now that we have an array with all the different possible movements, let's generate a random movement and add it into the function, into the add fun. So how do we do that? We need to select a random item from that array. So going into the console, we can use math random. And now that we do have that array, so that map movement array, you can see we've got all of the movements there. So if we take that movement array, and if we return back an index value, so if we wanted to get the first one, we could do one and so on. So if we randomize this using a math floor to bring the math value down to the floor, so that gives us more control, and then using math random, we need to multiply math random by the number of possible options. And we can get that from the movement array using its length. So what this will return back every time we enter it, it's gonna enter in a random movement. So we see we've got all of them accounted for. So we can apply this, and this is gonna return back a random movement and now all we need to do is associate it to a specific key. So we can try that out and how about we do the R key. So that's number 82. So I just pressed R just to see what it comes back as. So we can check to see if key is equal to 82. So if we do R, we're gonna get a random movement. So let's create a temporary variable for that. We can just call it temp. And this is gonna return back that random value coming out of that array. And then here, we just simply add it to the array. So let's try that. So I'm just pressing R, and you can see I'm getting random movements added in. And then everything is still gonna work the same, the sequence is gonna work the same. So coming up next, so go ahead and add this into your project. So uh, add in, and you can also have other keys do different things and uh, different movements as well. And you can also do combinations if you want. Uh, so coming up next, we're gonna add in the ability to remove out some of these commands. So if, for instance, you've got one of these commands, you don't want it within that array anymore, there's an option to remove it. So if you could click on it and remove it out, that's what we're gonna add in in the upcoming lesson.